good late, late evening on this just passing gorgeous glowing sunset in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. And this is a quick doge update. I had a subscriber donate to the channel. And I'm going to also count that in a running count of a donation. He did a, he wanted a trading alert, a price alert. So he donated to the channel $5. I'm going to give him this quick, quick video. He said he bought in at 33 cents and just wanted a second, uh, somebody else's point of view than his own. Um, so I'm going to give him that real quick. He bought in at 33 cents. So we're going to mark that, right? Uh, it doesn't say on my PayPal yet uh, what your name is, subscriber, but you just sounded asking about this and you said you were in, I believe, 33 cents. So now we're up to $33 to our $100 challenge to have me release my first ever gold crypto investing technical analysis class. So you're in there. Oh, you're in profit right now. You're looking good. So here's what I'm looking at, right? If you follow my channel, which I believe you have, because you're a, a uh, you're you you seem to know what's going on on my channel. This is what I think we're in. This uh, orange right here. No, we're gonna make it yellow. See that? That's your upper resistance. I think we're in a bear flag, right? Because the volume's crashing, right? The price crashed. Ah, come on. The price crashed, and then we hit upper resistance and straddled it once, crashed, hit lower support two and three, because back here is our first confor confirming the pattern. And the pattern uh, is a bearish, and a, uh, my, my company is a probability-based company, right? And this bear pennant or bear flag on a probability scale, more times than not will break down before they break up. Now, you're in a swing trade, it sounds like. So if I'm you, here's what I'm looking at. Let's get some of this noise out of here. Right, let's get that out. We don't need that there. We got too much noise in here right now. Uh, we need that. So if I was you, this is the two areas you need to pay attention to. We're going to make this. Um, it's got to stand out. We'll make it red, danger zone. There's your bottom support, right? This is you, the white. You, The bottom. Let's, let's get our little uh, drawing tool out, you know, right? Our line tool with an arrow company and YouTube famous, I'm going to make it. And there, when you go to get your breakdown over here, we got to go here to there to here. And then we perch. I'm going to perch on the upper resistance. This is your, if it breaks north of here and you get pumping volume, you're golden. And you can play it up to the first major uh, upper resistance would be this downtrending green line, which is the 200 day moving average. And say it pumped up from right now, 38, 39, 40 cents would be major overhead resistance. And you would think that you would come back down if the volume's not pumping. You can see in the 30 minute, we had a pump in volume here to retest. And then that big wick here, my subscriber that's requesting this, this is important TA. You have a big wick in a 30 minute time frame, and, and then you get to the base of the candle. What the fuck's the base of the candle? There's the base of the candle. That means there was heavy sell pressure at this upper resistance line, right? And we know that's upper resistance in our bear pennant or or bear flag, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing. Then when we got to the lower end, we had big wick, a lot of buyers, right? And now we're trading on a 50-day moving average, waiting to figure out if we're going to try to come up here and retest and break out. And then again, this would be a short-term target, uh, 38, 39 cents, 40 cents, where this 50-day uh, moving average is. But now on the downside, you're in right here at 33 cents. If it breaks down and you get a bunch of volume come in and you decisively break this uptrending major, major support, right, at 33, and then it ends up over here at 34 and a half cents. If you break this line decisively, and by decisively, I mean you break it by four, five, six percent, and you have pumping volume like you had a candle like that, red, then another one red like that, and then another one like that, red, you're confirming the breakout, right? And that would that would be a concerning. So if you had crashing price through this, breaking out because the pattern's gotta break up or down by right here, right, right there. And that's the, that's the 23rd of May, and that's tomorrow. So it's either got to shoot up or it's going to crash down. I think it's going to, if it breaks up, it's going to get rejected by the overhead 200-day moving average, and it's going much lower because I think we're bearish right now and we're going down, whether some of these go up 5 or 10 or 15% from their daily lows. I think we're eventually coming down. But if you break, I'm going to put a little line here. 
you when you play these patterns, the the old trading rule is in my company probability based way is you don't make the trade until the pattern breaks up or breaks down if you're going long or you're shorting it. So like right here, if you get much below that, we're gonna make that bigger, right? My subscriber, if you get much below that 32 cent line and you have picked up and you have picking up volume, right? Paying our company drawing tool out, YouTube sensation. If you get a bunch of candles like this and like this, and it's all sell volume, and you're breaking down through here, right? This little area right here. Go watch my Digibyte video or Bitcoin video when we're breaking down on a monthly patterns and I put emergency sell alerts based on the probability based system like this. If you break down south of that circled red uptrending support and you get south of 32 cents and a crashing price and a crashing up and a volume pumping like that red volume candles are way up, way up. Say a half hour candle, a half hour candle, a half hour candle and they're all red. You got to get the fuck out of there because that price is going to roll over on itself. Because the target, if this breaks down out of the bear pennant, um, is way down there at 16, 17, 18, 19 cents. 17 to 21 cents is your fucking target, right? So if it gets below 32 cents in crashing volume, I would have a limit order on there to sell out, right? And also, too, another thing to pay attention to, see how you had this long after the crash and you came up? Usually, you come back down before you go up. In any meaningful way before you go up you come to double bottom down there to retest it and then if the buyers are there you can try to break up in a meaningful way that's why i think this bear pennant is going to break down in a meaningful way before a meaningful way meaning before doge goes back up here to 57 to 60 cents i think it's coming down here to 20 to 22 cents first like subscribe and share i hope this was helpful for that subscriber that donated towards our he donated for a trading alert that I'm, like you just got right now, a buy zone, a sell zone. I'm not a financial advisor. This is only entertainment purposes only. Um, but the sell zone with crashing volume would be if it breaks out of that uh, lower support out of this bear pennant, right where it's circled on the red line at 32, 33 cents, and it crashes below that 32 cents where I got it marked out there, and you have a picked up crap, you know, volume spike. You got to get out of that, right? You shouldn't have. You shouldn't have got into this position if you wanted to play this pattern until it broke out, right? And a breakout for me, because there's always fake outs where the price comes up and then crashes, I like to get 1% or 2% higher, 3%. So yeah, you're going to eat into some of your gains, but I would have put my, I would have started my buy probably at, now we got 35 cents, say it broke out there, 36 cents I would have started, 37 cents, and then 38, I would have went all in, or 30, 30, Five, I would have started and then I would have went in all in at 36, even 36, a little bit over 36 and then played it. That's how you play that. You never buy a pattern that you like, this is a bear pattern. You don't buy it to play the breakout until it breaks out. You, you buy into the breakout, right? That way you have a, pro a higher probability chance of winning. So you should have started buying, um, the fuck's going on. Come on, drawing tool. You should have started buying up here, right? And then once you clear this last wick candle at 36, you can go all in if it was still going up, have buy orders. You never buy in at the end of the pattern until it breaks out because what can happen, and it happens a lot, especially when the pattern's gonna break bearish, right? For my subscriber, pay attention to this. God, get out of here. Um, a lot of times, because these probability-based uh, trading alert right here in system, this pattern should break down, but sometimes they'll come way up here to entice people in and then quickly turn around and crash, right? Um, so pay attention to that tonight. That's why you never trade these until the breakout. But a quick synopsis, if it crashes below that key uptrending support and it gets below 32 cents and you have pumping red candles in volume, big volume, that's a, that's a sell alert because you're, you're in some trouble, right? Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for the donation. This company appreciates it. Uh, peace and love, peace and love.